Okay everyone, so in this video, how to add Instagram feed to your Shopify store. So we're gonna add an Instagram feed like this, with images, and your visitors can click on one image. So let's say I want to click on this one. This will open up your Instagram profile and show this post. Alright, so let's go and add this to your Shopify store. And make sure to watch the whole Shopify tutorial so you don't miss any important steps. So to add your Instagram feed, we're gonna go to the back end of your Shopify store. Okay, so in your Shopify dashboard, go to the left sidebar and click on this one. Apps. So now we're gonna install an Instagram feed app. So to do that, just go and click on this green button. Visit the Shopify app store. In the search bar, we're gonna search for Instagram feed. Hit enter. Now we're gonna go to this one, Insta feed. So this is a Instagram feed by Mint Studio. Just click on this Insta feed title. And if you like, you can read about this Insta feed. I'm just gonna go and click on add app to install this uh, Insta feed on my Shopify store. Go down and click on this one, install app. Like that. So now we're gonna go and connect our Instagram account. So go to instagram.com and make sure that you're logged in to the correct Instagram account. So I'm gonna log in to my Instagram account, Rowan at Life. And make sure to log in to your Instagram account to connect to the correct Instagram feed. Alright. Now we can go back to the Shopify store. Click on this one. Connect an Instagram account. Okay, so now we need to authorize this application. So you can read about the information right here, what they will have access to. After that, just click on Authorize if you approve. Like that. So now we can see the preview right here. We can add a feed title. So you can add whatever you like. Hit Enter. And now we will see the title right here. So now we can go and customize how these uh, images will show up on our homepage in our Shopify store. So we got this one, post spacing. We can change from one to 10%. So let's say I want to have 10%, choose 10% and click enter. This will update the browser. And now we can see that they have a space between these images. I'm gonna choose 2%. Hit enter, like that. Then we have on post click, open pop-up, show product. So if you choose open pop-up, show product, that means when your visitors click on the image, this will open up a pop-up with information about this image, all right? And then we have open Instagram and do nothing. If you choose open Instagram, that means when you click on the image, this will open up Instagram and show your profile. Or if you choose do nothing, that means your visitors on your Shopify store cannot click on the image, they cannot interact. But this is a nice feature to have if you want to make your Shopify store more alive. Because when you upload an image on your Instagram account, it will also display on your Instagram feed. So this makes your Shopify store appear more alive for your visitors. So that's a nice feature. So in my case, I'm gonna choose this one. Open Instagram. It's the same thing. It makes your Shopify store more alive, but they can interact, okay? So I'm gonna click on open Instagram. Then we have number of rows. Now we have one, but we can choose more if you like. So let's say I want to have two. Hit enter. And now we have a two row Instagram feed and we also have number of columns. So one, two, three, four and four right here. We can add less or more if you like. So let's say I want to have six. 
hit enter. And now we have two rows with six images. So when you're satisfied with the customization, just go and click on this one, save. Okay, so now we're gonna add this uh, Insta feed to our Shopify store homepage. So to do this, we are just gonna go to the left sidebar, click on online store, go to themes, and go to current theme, and go to this one, customize. Click on that. So now we're gonna go to the left sidebar and click on this one, add section. Find InstaFeed app, so this one, InstaFeed app, click on that. Now we can see the Instagram feed right here. Now go to the bottom and click on this one, select. Like that, and now we can customize here as well. And now we can customize the font if you like. Just click on change and choose your font. So you can search for a font. So let's say I want to have this one. And now we have this font to our title. We can also go down right here and style this font with the regular italic, bold and bold italic. When you're satisfied, just go down and click on select. Like that. And we can choose heading size. If you want to have bigger. Like that. We can also choose feed width. If you don't want to have the whole width of the page, we can maybe do like 70%, like that. And if you know how to code, you can also add custom code. After that, just go up to the top right corner, click on save. And now we can go back and we can change the position of the Instagram feed. We can just move it up if you want to have it under slideshow, like that. And don't forget to go up to the top right corner and click on save. Let's go to the website and have a look. Just update the browser, go down, and now we can see our Instagram feed right here. If I click on the image, this will open up my Instagram post on my Instagram profile. Okay everyone, so if you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel for more of these videos. Comment below if you have any questions. Okay everyone, so I hope this uh, video solved your problem. Don't uh, miss out on my latest video right here, just click on this image. So I hope you have an awesome day, take care and bye.